Got to love the way this team is scoring early and often and putting runs on the board and putting the pressure on the defense. The Brewers do it again. We'll get to that story next. Chuck Freeman here on Locked On Brewers. You are Locked On Brewers, your daily Milwaukee Brewers podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey, how about our Milwaukee Brewers scoring seven or more runs in four straight games? Man, there were times last year where it would take a whole week for them to get seven runs. This team is not only scoring runs, but they're scoring runs when they count. It's not like they're tacking on runs at the end and and piling it in and you know adding runs on, uh, which they should do. But hey, they got off to an early lead, five nothing in this one, cruised to a seven two win over the Reds. And a lot of things went right again in a game we didn't know that was going to be played. Chuck Freeman here on Lockdown Brewers, part of Lockdown Podcast Network. We are your team every day. Good to have you along, everybody. Uh, you get us on Google, Spotify, Apple. We're on all the major downloads. Wherever you download your audio podcast, we are there. We're the number one brewer podcast because you great brewer fans out there are growing Lockdown Brewers. And I appreciate everybody, all the comments that we get. Uh, on YouTube and uh, on Twitter, my Twitter account, Chuck Freeman, F-R-E-I-M-U-N-D. Speaking of YouTube, follow us along here on YouTube. Go to uh, Lockdown Brewers, search on Lock, uh, YouTube, search Lockdown Brewers, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. That alerts you every time we drop an episode on Lockdown Brewers. Man, it is great to get off this start. I mean, I, I sound like a broken record on that, but I'm just playing the hits. And playing the hits is what we do here. Off to an eight and three start of the season. Eight and three. Eight and three. And in a division where everybody seems to be playing well, I love it, man. And not only they are they off to a great start, but there's a lot to like about this team to think, yeah, they could be for real. They could be for real. Yeah, I know uh, the, the pitching could be a little uh, suspect at times, but there are guys producing on this team who we didn't count on. There are guys producing on this team who maybe some of us have written off. We'll get to all that coming up here in a little bit. But bottom line, another winner, another winner uh, in Cincinnati. So they've won. They've at least split this series. They've at least split this series with the 7-2 to win. And on Thursday, go for the series win, weather provided, with Freddie on the hill making his third start of the year. We'll get to all that coming up here in a little bit. Just good to have you along here on a Wednesday night after the game. Yeah, I was looking all day today, checking the weather forecast, and it looked at doubt. Now, first of all, when I was at the Final Four on Monday night, I was looking at Tuesday, and, man, he saw 90%, 100% chance of rain. They got that in. Same thing today. All day today, I was looking at the forecast, 80 90% chance of rain. And then there was that little window where, you know, the game got delayed by uh, almost two hours, but you saw a window where it was 30, 35% chance of rain. They could get this one in, and they did get it in. Now, it was supposed to be after the ball game tonight. As you saw, if you watched the game, ninth inning started to come down a little bit. So I think the Brewers were able to get out of there because I was I just wanted uh, Bukowski to throw strikes, get out of that inning. I didn't want to be hanging around for two and a half hours to get the final couple of outs of that game. You know, I don't know how long the umpires will wait a 7-2 game in the ninth inning, but I didn't want a chance to get out of there, got out of there harmless, and another Brewers win. So, yeah, check out that rain. And tomorrow, same thing. Looks like rain. Looks like there's about an 80 90% chance of rain. We'll see. It's going to rain through the night in Cincinnati, but hopefully they get that one in a 12-10 start in Cincinnati uh, so they don't have to come back and make this one up later on in the year. So the Mets had a rain out tonight. They're making it up in September. Oh, I don't want to wait till then. You know, let's get these games in now. And while the Brewers are playing well, 7-2 winners. We start with Wade Miley. We start with Wade Miley and coming in. And, yeah, going into this game tonight, we didn't expect Miley to go six or seven innings. That's for sure. Uh, Bullpen was going to be ready. And you know what? The offense got him some early support. So Miley was able to settle in four innings, one hit 52 pitches. What more can you ask for a guy who's coming off the injured list with a shoulder 
at 38 years old. Man, that was great to see Miley do that. Yeah, I'm a little suspect of him, you know, us counting, uh, the Brewers counting on a 38-year-old in the number two hole in that rotation. Right now he's slotted in the five hole, but number two hole to start the season, um, wh- you know, what he's got left. But, man, coming off the injury with his age, I thought it was great. And it helped that the Brewers were able to stake him to a lead, and he got Bryce Wilson sucking up three innings. Um that was that was I thought that would save the bullpen there. Bryce, that's what Bryce Wilson's role to me on this team is come in in a game like this, put the big fella out there, let him roll for three innings, and game set and match. That's exactly what I want out of Bryce Wilson. Yeah, occasionally he's gonna find himself some in some tight spots. He gave that three run home run last week, I think it was. I think it was Monday. He gave the three run home run. He he did recently, and I'm my mind's kind of going on me here. I'm trying to think when he gave it. He gave a three-run home run recently. I know that. Still, that's what I want for Bryce Wilson. Come in, big fella, suck up some innings in a game like tonight. So, yeah, a lot to be happy about as the Brewers move their record to eight and three. Now, <laughs> there was some injury news and all that. We're going to get to that a little bit later on as well. But I was thinking, as I'm watching Will Contreras and – Jefferson Quiro is going to go on the – he's going to be gone for the rest of the year, actually. One of the top – you know, they're, I think they're number three prospect in the organization. Shoulder injury, diving back to first base. This is the second time he's had to have uh, surgery on one of his shoulders. So he's out for the rest of the year. And I was thinking when that news came down today, man, they got a – we finally got a catcher. Finally got a catcher that we want to be – Mr. Forever, or as long as he can go. I want Will Contreras here long-term. Let's sign this guy while we can to a long-term contract extension. That's what I say. You know, they they appear to do the right thing with Jackson Cheerio, and if they do stuff like that in the future, I'm good. They're going to miss some stuff, and they're going to be right on with some stuff too. Um, like I say, when the Brewers do stuff like that, you always got to hold your breath. But right now, it seems like Cheerio had an RBI base hit again tonight. Uh, you know, you always got to hold your breath when the Brewers – or any teams in the state of Wisconsin, you know, go on the limb like that. But a Contreras, yeah, I'd like to see that extended. We finally got a catcher. Well, we've had other serviceable catchers before that we've liked. But this guy, young catcher, off to another good start. And, you know, again, I've always said about Will Contreras, you can't take him out of the lineup. Frames pitches nicely. I like him. Um, and Contreras, trying to be a leader on this team, I liked what I heard from him the other night. Uh, He was talking, I think he was talking to Adam McCalvey from MLB.com, Brewers.com. And they were talking about Ella DeCruz. Ella De De La Cruz, the phenom for the Reds, who homered again. Um, And the Brewers committed four errors on Monday night. And I think Contreras was kind of alluding to it. It was like, in, in in a roundabout way, was saying, yeah, Dela Cruz makes some of our guys uneasy out there, and we get nervous. And what Contreras is trying to say is, hey, he's a good player, but let's not treat him like he invented baseball. Basically, okay, we have good guys on our team too. He said, I think we need to have a meeting on this team to figure out how we're going to deal with that man over there because we can't, we can't. Treat him like he's Michael Jordan, basically, right now. Those weren't his words, but you get my point. You know, we can't <laughs> – he's he's not there just yet. And I don't know what they did, but, yeah, he thought that Ella Del Cruz was kind of getting to some of the Brewers players and, you know, caught – you remember the steal of home last year uh, at Amfam Field on a Saturday afternoon. It was right behind home plate when that happened. I couldn't believe it. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to deal with Dela Cruz for a long, long time here, obviously. Um, so we need to wrap our arms around how we're going to handle him and not be a fear of him, respect him out there. But I like Contreras stepping up as a leader and talking about that saying, yeah, this guy's a good player and all that, but we got good guys on our team too. You know, Hey, and that's true. Yeah. We got professional guys in this team who can play. Darn right, William Contreras. So, yeah, back to what I was saying before. Let's extend Contreras while we can. Extend Contreras. Uh, Christian Yelich, a two-run home ride right off the bat. And 
<laughs> I saw this on Twitter today. Um, it was called the Christian Yelich Apology Form, where guys like me, and someone tweeted at me this, yes, because, yeah, and I said all along during the offseason, if this was the NFL, the Brewers would cut Christian Yelich, or they'd ask him to take a pay cut in the offseason. That's just how the NFL works. You saw what happened to Aaron Jones in Green Bay last two years. Last two last year, they asked a, a terrific running back like that to take a pay cut. And they do the same thing with Christian Yelich if they could do it in baseball. Now, the Christian Yelich apology form is this. You can either circle this on, on things that we all said about Christian Yelich. He's washed up. DFA him. <laughs> Should go back to stealing signs. You know, that's always been the Twitter rumor out there, stealing signs. Um, his power is gone. Trade him. Drop him in the batting order. Worst contract ever. And at the bottom of all these, all the things we said about Christian Yelich, washed up, DFA him, power gone, trade him, injury prone, should go back to stealing signs, worst contract ever, all these things. There's a little note, I, comma, put our name in it, Chuck Freeman, hereby apologize to Christian Yelich and will cheer for his success going forward. So I don't know if I'm quite ready to sign the Christian Yelich apology form. I don't know if I'm quite there yet. We're only a couple of weeks into the season, but the pen is ready. The cap is off the pen, and I'm certainly thinking about it, signing the Christian Yelich apology form. We'll check back on that to go because he homered and got the Brewers off to a, a great start tonight. Two run homer in the first inning and away we went Added three more in the second inning tacked on runs. You know, they didn't sit back in that two nothing lead in like, you know, our father's Milwaukee Brewers used to do like the Brewers of last year. No, they kept on attacking and attacking five, nothing and let Wade Miley go out there and do his thing. But yeah, Christian Yelich, huge hitting that home run to start uh, this game. A uh, couple of three batters into the ballgame. All right, when we come back, we got a few things to get to. Injury updates. Um, we'll talk about tomorrow's matchup, Thursday's matchup. Willie Adamas. Some of you don't like Willie Adamas in the fourth hole. I'll talk about that coming up here in a little bit as well. Chuck Freeman here on Lockdown Brewers, part of Lockdown Podcast Network. We are your team every day in prize picks. I'm telling you about prize picks. All you need to do is download the app. They're America's number one fantasy sports app with more than 3 million members. It's the easiest and most exciting way to get in on all the action while you watch your favorite sports and players. You pick more or less on two or more players on their stats, on their matchups, what you think they're going to do, and watch the winnings roll in. Yep, spring training is over. Baseball is here, and there are so many. Th basketball postseason's coming up. They're finishing up the regular season. Playoffs are beginning. Uh, coming up uh, in a matter of days, next week, really. But Price Picks has something for every sports fan. Baseball, basketball, legends, a league of legends, everything in between. It's the best way to get in all the action in more than 30 states around the country, including California, Texas, and Georgia, wherever you're living in this great country of ours. Please go to right now, download the Price Picks app. Download the app. Use the promo code Locked On MLB. That's Locked On MLB. Your first deposit match up to hundred bucks. Again, download the app. Use the promo code Locked On MLB for first deposit match up to hundred bucks. That's Prize Picks, and you can win a hundred times your money. Chuck Freeman here on Locked On Brewers, part of Locked On Podcast Network. We are coming right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Locked On Brewers. Chuck Freeman, your host. Good to have you along here. Great mood. Eight and three start for the Milwaukee Brewers. I know we've been down this road before the Milwaukee Brewers, but I'm going to enjoy it. You know, with the Brewers, and I know regular season, we've been down this road and we get to the postseason and we're tripping over ourselves. But uh, you know what? I'm not going to let that get in the way of the way the Brewers are playing right now. And it's just, just fun to watch. They're entertainment for us. You know, I mean, I, I come, we all come home. Some of you guys come home from working, God, jobs you just can't stand, okay? And maybe you're coming home to 
<laughs> your wife who you just can't stand. <laughs> just kidding. But maybe you're coming home and your one joy after working 12 hours and working sun up to sundown is to come home and put, put sports on TV and watch the Milwaukee Brewers. And yeah, that's it. And you sit down and you want to watch an entertaining product. Right now, through 11 games, we could say that about the Milwaukee Brewers. Like we talked about earlier, they're scoring runs. They're moving guys over. They're doing a lot of great things under Pat Murphy, an early candidate for manager of the year, definitely manager of the month for the month of uh, April. You know, little skeptics who had the Brewers finishing in last place. And I know, I know, 11 games into the season, we got 151 left to go. Murphy would be the first guy to say that, but I'm going to enjoy it while we can. How about Perkins hitting another home run? Perkins, he's batting 400. Can't take him out of the lineup. I say you keep running that guy out there. Now, as I talked about last night, there was some doubt whether or not he was even going to make the team. But he's come in, played great defensively out there, and he's hitting home runs. Three for five a couple of nights ago. Home run tonight. And Blake Perkins got hit by a pitch. And you know what? I think three hit by pitches tonight. I think there was two, two balls in the dirt. And then Contreras got hit by a pitch. Three hit by pitches. I'm going to do a little research. I feel like the Brewers have been hit by a pitch awful lot so far. And our friend Vinny Rotino, who's outstanding, who also listens to this podcast and views it. Hey, Vinny, keep up the great work as always. Um, Vinny said he didn't think that last one was intentional. The ball got away from the pitcher. That might be. But I'm just saying three hit by pitches so far. Um, just seems... Little head scratching, but whatever. So we talked about the injuries. We talked about Quero earlier. Um, Mitchell, uh, they gave an update today on uh, on injuries for the Milwaukee Brewers and when these guys are due back. Mitchell with that finger injury, they're still targeting June first. Uh, Gasser, he's going to throw a couple of innings in Arizona this weekend. Devin Williams, still the All Star break they're shooting for. Uh, Taylor Clark, late May with his knee injury. So those are the ones and Quero obviously gone for the rest of the season with the shoulder. And that's a tough loss. The Brewers who've been so stocked in the catcher's department with, you know, we thought this guy, some people wanted him to make the major league roster this year and just go out there and have him be the opening day catcher. You know, let's, uh, let's, let's work with him. I mean, nothing against Contreras, but I think, not maybe Quirrell, at least Quirrell, the backup guy, let's say, in back of Contreras. But no, and now he's going to have surgery. So hopefully he comes back from that. Again, he's had a couple of surgeries done on uh, on his shoulders so far. All right, when we come back, we'll talk about the matchup coming up on Thursday. The defense continues to play well. And Willie Adamas, we got to get to him as well. Some of you guys seem to be concerned with Willie, but we'll talk about that coming up here in a little bit. Um, eBay Motors, eBay Motors, passion, drive, and patience. The formula for winning championships is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance. Superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're in your speed, power, style, uh, eBay Motors has got you covered with over 122 million parts to choose from for your number one ride or die. You always get exactly what you're looking for. Buddy down my street, he's in his garage every day. I don't do this for a living, but he's in his garage every day working on his car. And, uh, you know, he says eBay Motors, way to go for him. He's fixing up his car. He's fixing like a couple of cars down the street. And, uh, you know, that's his MVP. And he wants his car to be an MVP as well. Bring home huge wins with your ride and die with ebaymotors.com ebaymotors.com try the guaranteed fit ebay guaranteed fit your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back ebay guaranteed fit is only available to us customers exclusions apply ebaymotors.com Chuck Freeman here on Lockdown Brewers part of Lockdown Podcast Network we're coming right back Welcome back to Lockdown Brewers. Chuck Freeman, your host here on Lockdown Brewers, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network. We are your team every day. See that poster I got back there? That's not a poster. It's a newspaper. 
that I've had framed from when the Brewers won the 82 ALCS. I had that from when I was a kid and finally got it framed a couple of years ago. I'd like to add to that. I'd like to add a World Series champion up there, or at least let's start small. Let's start a division winner banner up there with the newspapers. Although the way the newspaper industry is going, no fault of the writers themselves because those guys do a heck of a job. It's not their fault, but will there still be print copies by the time the Brewers win another divisional series or win a, win a postseason series? That remains to be seen, but hopefully, you know, I love the newspaper. I do. I just still miss getting that hand copy, and I know sometimes you look at the newspaper and you see a game story from three days ago, and it's like, man, come on. But I, I miss those days. But all right, I digress. Um, Willie Adamas, buddy of mine, tweeted at me tonight. No, he not tweeted at me. He uh, messaged me. He says, why is Willie Adamas batting fourth? Well, Hoskins was not in the lineup uh, tonight. Um, Bowers did, and Bar- Bowers drove it around with a base hit. I would love to see Hoskins in that fourth hole. I don't, I don't see Willie being the classic five hole. Hoskins is the only true fourth place hitter on this team. I like Yelich in the three hole. Keep him there. Don't move him down. Keep him in the three hole. Keep him driving runs. I like that. Um, but I put, I would prefer. Hoskins batting fourth and Adamas batting fifth in the order. Not that big of a deal, is it? I just, when I see Hoskins in the lineup, when he's in there batting sixth, I'm like, come on. This guy's the best home run hitter on this team. Let's move the big fella up to the fourth spot. This guy's like Gorman Thomas where you, where he's, well, he's batting 205, I think right now, but um, I don't know. I just, I, I like to see Hoskins is going to be a big, big part of this team's success this season already has seven, two brewers win. All right. Thursday weather permitting. Like I said, I see a big chance of rain again in Cincinnati, just like today. But as you know, weather, especially in the Midwest and Cincinnati is still considered the Midwest, right? Even though it's Eastern time zone, you know, that weather can change it instantly. And so right now, 80, 90% chance of rain, Freddie Peralta making his third start on the Hill for Milwaukee. And for them, it's, Nick Martinez, 33-year-old left-hander. He's got an ERA of about seven. Last time out against the Mets last Friday, gave up five runs and five innings on eight hits and was not very good. Left-hander, but we'll get Hoskins back in the lineup, get the right-handed lineup in there, and go for the series win, heading into a big series with Baltimore. But I I already see the Brewers are underdog. Brewers with Freddie Peralta on the hill against Nick Martinez. I saw they were a plus 110 underdog, just like tonight. I don't get it. I don't get it. And they'll be underdogs this weekend against Baltimore. Now, I, I can understand that. But here in Cincinnati, you know, the Brewers, each one of these series, they've been underdog. They'll continue to be underdog. You know, they've... They've handled the Reds pretty well, with the exception of Monday. Made a valiant comeback in that game. But, yeah, Freddie Peralta against Nick Martinez. And Freddie is an underdog going into that game. Is it because the game is in Cincinnati? I think that home field advantage has something. If there's a couple of hundred fans at the game tonight in Cincinnati. So that shouldn't really matter. But, hey, Freddie, let's give him a strong one. Let's get a good lineup out there on Thursday and start cooking. And win in this game and go on to go on to Baltimore with a nine and three record. And yeah, just don't get swept in Baltimore. Baltimore is a, a darn good team. We know that. Uh, don't get swept uh, with the Orioles, who have the potential of winning a World Series this year. I, I really believe with their team. And, and again, they're calling up one of their young phenoms as well, the number one prospect in baseball. So we'll talk more about that on tomorrow's show. Uh, but yeah, that's the injury updates. So far, so good. Uh, the Brewers are, you know, got to keep this thing going. Everybody in the division seems to be winning these days. Brewers with this eight and three start. And man, I'm just loving the way they're playing. Loving the way they're playing. Perkins, Yelich, Contreras, Miley, Bryce Terang. You know, just a big bonus, Bryce Terang hitting the way he is right now um, and and just providing some offense toward the bottom part of that batting order. So you look right now, 
one through eight. You looked at the order last year, the batting order, and you'd see guys like five through eight, five through nine, you know, 205, 203, 202, you know, just terrible out there. Um, but not right now. Um, are the Brewers a good team? Is there a big enough sample size? Time will tell. The long run, the baseball season, the 162 games is the great equalizer. It tells everything. It Everything pans out like it should be. There's no flukes. Everything pans out the way it should be. Brewers won 92 games last year. They earned it in 162 games. Okay. The, the great endurance test of 162. But, hey, I'll take five games over the 500 mark at this point. Hopefully six after Freddie gets done with the Reds on Thursday afternoon if there is a game. Hey, thanks for everybody for joining me. Google, Spotify, Apple, we're on all the major downloads. Go to YouTube, search Locked on Brewers, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. That'll alert you every time we drop an episode. Please follow me on Twitter, Chuck Freeman, F-R-E-I-M-U-N-D. And that's going to do it. All you everydayers out there, I see your comments. I hear from you. I read your comments on YouTube, and I appreciate it. All of us in this together, following our favorite team, the Milwaukee Brewers. Chuck Freeman, Locked on Brewers, part of Locked on Podcast Network. We are your team every day. So long, everybody.